Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is writing linear equations in standard form when they're given to you in point-slope form. And we have six examples for you. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number one asks you to write the equation of the line in standard form. So this is given to you in point-slope form, which is y minus y sub 1 equals slope times x minus x sub 1. It's a very easy form to be able to enter in to write the equation of a line because all you need to do is know a slope and a point. And you can start with the point-slope form. But many times the answer needs to be in standard form. And standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are all integers, and a is larger than 0. So a has to be positive, and you don't want any fractions or decimals as your coefficients a, b, and your constant c. So we're going to take and transform this equation, y minus 5 equals 3 times x minus 4, into standard form. So we'll start by the distributive property. y minus 5 remains on the left side of the equation. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. So now I have the y on the left side, just like it is in standard form. However, the x term is on the right side. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So that gives me negative 3x plus y minus 5 on the left side, 3x minus 3x is 0, or as some people say, it cancels out, and 0 minus 12 is negative 12. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides to put all the number constant terms on the right. Negative 5 plus 5 is 0, leaving me with negative 3x plus y equals negative 7. So I'm almost there. I have my x term plus my y term equals number, but a has to be positive or larger than 0. So I'm either going to divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1. It's going to have the same effect. All of my signs are going to reverse. So I would get positive 3x, negative y, and positive 7. Putting my equation in standard form, I have 3x minus y equals 7. Problem number 2 asks you to write the equation of the line in standard form. So I have y plus 2 equals negative 6 times x plus 1. That's in point-slope form. And remember, in standard form, I wanted to say ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers, and a has to be positive. So no fractions, no decimals for a, b, and c. So I'm going to start with the distributive property on the right-hand side. That would give me y plus 2 equals negative 6 times x is negative 6x, and negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Now, I have my y term on the left side like it's supposed to be, but my x term is on the right side, and it needs to be on the left side. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. That would give me 6x plus y plus 2 equals negative 6x plus 6x is 0, and 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Now, I just need to put all my numbers on the right side, so I'm going to subtract 2 from each side. Positive 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 plus 6x plus y is 6x plus y. And negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. And so now we'll check. I have my x term plus my y term equals my number term, and the x is positive 6. I have no fractions or no decimals, so the linear equation in standard form would be 6x plus y equals negative 8. Problem number 3 asks you to write the equation of a line in standard form. Remember, standard form is ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are integers, and a is positive. Right now, my equation is in point-slope form. So I'm going to start out by the dis using the distributive property on the right-hand side, Negative 5 times x is negative 5x, 
and negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. Now I need to put my x term on the left side and my number term on the right side. So I'm going to add 5x to both sides, and I'm also going to add 7 to both sides. When I do that, negative 7 plus 7 on the left side is 0, and that leaves me with 5x plus y on the left side. Negative 5x plus 5x is 0 on the right side, and that leaves me with negative 10 plus 7, which is negative 3. So now I'm going to check. My a, b, and c are all integers, and a is positive like it's supposed to be. So my equation is in the correct standard form, 5x plus y equals negative 3. Problem number 4 asks you to write the equation of the line in standard form. And again, it's given to me in point slope form, and I want to write it in standard form, ax plus by equals c. So again, I'm going to start with the distributive property. y plus 3 on the left stays the same. 8 times x is 8x and 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. Now I need my x term on the left side, so I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides, and I want my numbers on the right-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So positive 3 minus 3 is 0. That leaves me with negative 8x plus y equals, on the right side, 8x minus 8x is 0, and negative 32 minus 3 is negative 35. Now I have to check. Do I have all integers? Yes. Negative 8, 1, and negative 35. However, my leading a term is not positive. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1, or you could say you're going to divide both sides by negative 1. Either way, every sign is going to reverse. That would leave me with 8x minus y equals 35, and that's my equation in standard form. Problem number 5 asks you to write the equation of the line in standard form. Standard form, remember, is ax plus by equals c. a, b, and c have to be integers, so no fractions, no decimals. I do have a fraction of negative 1 half in this problem that's in point slope form. So first, I'm going to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator, which is 2. 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. On the right side, I have 2 divides into 2 one time, and 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 times x minus 5. So now I've cleared the fractions from the problem. Now I'm going to use the distributive property on the right-hand side. Negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. And now I'm going to transform. Remember, I need my x terms on the left side and my number terms on the right side. My y term is already on the left side. So I'm going to add x to both sides, and I'm going to add 6 to both sides x plus 2y, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So I have x plus 2y on the left side, negative x plus x on the right side is 0, and 5 plus 6 is 11. So now I will check. I have a 1, a 2, and an 11, so all those are integer coefficients, and my leading a term is positive. So in standard form, my linear equation would be x plus 2y equals 11. Problem number 6 asks you to write the equation of the line in standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c, and a, b, and c are integers, no fractions, no decimals. So I do have a fraction of 2 thirds, and to clear that fraction out, I'm going to multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which is 3. So 3 times y is 3y, and 3 times 1 is 3. On the right side, 3 divides into 3 one time, and 1 times 2 is 2 times x plus 6. Now that I've cleared out my fractions, I can use the distributive property. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 6 is 12. And now I'm just going to rearrange my terms. The y is already on the left side like it's supposed to be. I need the x term on the left side, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 
and I need all my number terms on the right side, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So 3 minus 3 is 0, leaving me with negative 2x plus 3y on the left side. 2x minus 2x is 0. 0 plus 12 minus 3 is 9. And now I'm going to check. I have all integers, negative 2, 3, and 9. However, my leading a term is negative. So I need to either multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. It doesn't matter. Both have the same effect of flipping over all of the signs on all of the terms. And so in standard form, my equation would say 2x minus 3y equals negative 9. So that's it. Six examples of writing linear equations in standard form when they're given to you in point-slope form. Keep working hard. Don't be afraid to try new problems and make mistakes. That's how you learn. We know you can do it if you put in the time and effort. As we say at Math Dogs, you got this.